let's go through a quick tutorial together about the create campaigns page in Samurai Seller. We are going to click on that tab and here is our page. Quick overview of the steps that we are going to go through together. Campaign name. You can follow any system you would like. I like to apply and use the name of the actual product, ASIN, and uh, usually I show the variation. And that's about it. Then the SKU coming from your inventory. I have prepared one. And once you add it, software verifies, shows you the ASIN, so you can cross check it if you would like. Here to the right, you can pick, choose which one of these campaigns you would like to be to have created or which ones you would like to turn off and not to create. For example, auto, I might not want, but I do want actually all five of these. Road phrase exact are going to be created as individual campaigns. But if I decide to go with broad and exact only, I can do that too. Right below, the software reminds me what negative matches are going to be applied. And if I go back to what I will actually do, broad phrase and exact, you will see that information changes back again to what is applicable to that campaign structure. Overall budget, by the way, changes similarly as you click back and forth. <clears throat> I might go for test purposes with something like, um, I don't know, four bucks. Actually, that's probably going to be too little because you need to have at least one dollar per campaign, according to campaign manager. So let's go ahead and edit these fields here and you will see the overall budget follows the numbers I am putting in and it's going to add up to what I actually want. I can also edit individual campaign names if I wish. For example, for the broad campaign, I might want to apply 100% top of search increase right here. And I might want to include that as a reminder for myself in the title. Or for phrase campaign, I might decide that I want a different meeting strategy, not down only, I want fixed. And I can also include that information if I wish to, if I have such a system. And there you go. We just went over the placement percentage increases that you can apply and also the bidding strategies that you can choose per campaign. And once I feel done with this page, I click next right here creating campaigns. Now, this means the campaigns are created now. The remaining steps here are going to take us through to complete those campaigns, but they are created, they exist right now in Seller Central. And here we are in the auto campaign and I have individual decisions to make here. For example, I don't want lose match to apply to my campaign, so I'm going to turn that off. On close match, instead of this default $1 bid, maybe I want to apply what Amazon suggests. And then on substitutes, I want to come up with my own bid. I don't know, could be anything. I can edit it. And there you go, you have a typo there. Hopefully this is fixed by the time you are using this page. On complements, I might look at what is the highest range, for example that Amazon says currently is going and that's $1 and I'm happy with the $1 bid in that case. And update auto targets, meaning update those campaigns. Now we might change the, the name of this button. Don't be thrown off if something is different on the user interface when you are uh, using the page. The main thing is the functionality. So once you click this button, updating targets. So that refers to targets as in the, the campaigns uh, that you are creating. So those auto campaigns were now updated. They already existed. So they were updated in Seller Central with all the information you put in. Keywords. Now we are going to put in some keywords here that I also prepared. 
and the software tells you separate by new line that you could do if you are copy pasting from Excel or something like that. Enter keywords separated by comma or semicolon. That is also an option. Let's say I turn this on because I prefer that. Throw in the keywords I'm going to apply. Um, oh, software reminds you characters that are not allowed by Amazon. That's a nice feature. For example, maybe if instead of FT, I used um, the symbol for feet. That one, that might not actually work. So it's a good reminder here. Um, and then I choose my bidding. In this case, I don't want Amazon suggested low or high. I just want to go with my custom bids. I want an exact bid of $1. That's fine for me. Let's say I want phrase to be 70 cents and growth is fine at 50 cents. I could get Amazon suggested keywords if I wanted to. I do not right now, but I'm just going to add these ones that I have right now. Keep in mind, if I am going to use these custom bids, I need to set them before I add the keywords so the software can apply those. And there you go, it applied my bids. I can still individually change these bids if I want to apply suggested bid here as an example, or on the last one, maybe just come up with my own bid if I wish to. Um, if I change my mind and I go, well, actually, I just want to override this all and go with uh, Amazon suggested bids. Once I click on this button here, you will see everything has changed now to Amazon suggested bids. So that would obviously override anything I have just edited. So keep that in mind. Apply the bids that you want to um, from Amazon or your general custom bids and then look through adjust, edit everything that you wish to before you then click on this button that right now says create three keywords. Obviously, if I put more, then it would say more. Once I click on that, it says creating keywords, which means the campaigns that already exist with my exact phrase and broad match targeting now have these keywords in them with the bits that I have chosen. And here we are on choosing ASINs, which product pages, which ASINs we want to target with our product targeting campaign. I have prepared a few. It's actually a good um, way to create these campaigns, to have your own work done, have the set of keywords you're going to be bidding on and ASINs and everything else. So this campaign creation step goes fast. Now I am copy pasting actually from another um, um, text uh, app where I save those ASINs and I need to separate them by comma, space, or semicolon. This is going to put them in here by one space. There you go. So that is all fine. Uh, we're probably going to add a button here so you can also add them by line just like on the keywords. And once again, I can apply my custom bid. And then I click on this one, custom, and then I can put anything I want to, 92 cents as an example, or I can click on any of these other options, get Amazon suggesting ASINs, get from Samurai converting ASINs, if I have collected that information already in Samurai from other campaigns I have been running on this queue or something like that, etc., etc. But right now I have those four ASINs and I'm going to add them. They have been added with the custom bid that I have chosen because that's what I have chosen now. Now that I see the Amazon uh, suggested bids and ranges, I might change my mind and I might want to, you know, lower this a lot because Amazon says 23 cents, I am bidding 92 cents. Or I might look at the range, Amazon says 11 cents to $1.55 and I might say, you know what, with 92 cents, I am just fine. And create the four targets. Those have been now added to the campaigns that I created before. So they are all in um, Seller Central in Campaign Manager. And this page is just a summary 
to remind you of what you have created. Read through, it tells you what everything is going to do. Um, once you are fine with all this information, you can just click done and you are taken back to the original page.